Yeah, we were just actually working on the Purdue Scout, um, so really locked into them in the short term. Very similar team that we played last year. They returned uh, almost everybody. Um, they were running with a different setter when we played them last year. They actually started to flip setters during our match. Um, but this is a really good team. They're running faster tempo than they did last year. Um, and they look really good. And then uh, I have not watched too much Kansas yet. My staff has watched more. I'm actually diving into that this afternoon. Um, but Kansas, I know, is just, they just are really low air, really good ball handling. And then they're just going to craft off your hands a lot, I think. Weekend, match specific, all things considered. Yeah, I think uh, we've just got to be more consistent with what we're doing. Um, we've got to get some more production from different areas of the court, so that continues to be a focal point. Um, I think when we're good, we're really good, and, and you know, but we're too inconsistent at this point. How do you how do you try both Nebraska last week, Louisville on Sunday? How do you try to avoid those going two holes? Have you put your finger on it, on what's kind of led to that? And then I mean, that's the million dollar question, right? You can imagine that that's been discussions with the team and discussions within the staff. And, you know, I think it's a balance of trying to, to push different buttons and figure things out, um, but also not hitting a panic button of let's, you know, also know that we're playing some good volleyball. But uh, as you can imagine, of course, we're trying to uh, put, put our finger on it a little bit and, and figure out which way to motivate and, and get us coming out and, and seizing those first games. Well, I think, it, you know, it's more that it's just been that kind of rigor the entire time. So we're just staying in that pattern of playing great teams, uh, which I do think we like and we're excited for the opportunity to play uh, another, you know, another crop of fantastic uh, teams and coaches. You have a lot of Kansas kids on your mm -hmm. roster, a handful of them, I think. I think we might have talked about it when you guys played K-State here. But what is it going to be like to take them back home? Yeah, uh, I think they're they're very excited about you know the Kansas uh, Creighton game was the first match for Kansas that sold out this year, and uh, you know I think it's because there's lots of Kansas representation on both teams. Um, so we haven't been to, we used to play Kansas almost every year, and we kind of went through a stint that we didn't. And so, especially like, you know, Kendra's a senior and she's like, finally, we're getting to Kansas. You know, her sister played at Kansas. So she's very familiar with the program and the coaches. And it really came down to us in Kansas and her recruiting process. She, she has wonderful things to say about that program. So I think a lot of them are excited to go close to home. Good. All right, thanks guys. Yep.